Welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix on this Wednesday. We've been covering a lot of sports. Time to look at one that, uh, well, nothing will hate him. If you love the game of golf, you cannot talk about golf and Tiger Woods in the same paragraph, the same sentence. Without You've just got to because they go hand in hand. But sometimes it's been for all the wrong reasons, especially of late, and Tiger had an accident. And we still, I guess, recovering from that, which we'll find out a bit more detail shortly as I bring in Carl Carrington from our Flow Sports team. Carl, thanks for joining us today. And Tiger, he is a, he is a great, he is a legend of the game, but we're not going to really remember him for some of the things he's done on the course. It's going to be more off the course. No, definitely, Clayton, and it's a pleasure to join you to talk about Tiger. Um, his, yeah, his off the course activities, I suppose, have uh, sort of taken the limelight away from his on-field glory um, more sort of a decade ago, but also recently um, when he won the PGA Tour in 2019. So it's a real shame that um, he might even be remembered. I remember when I sat in and spoke about Maradona with you earlier, yes, yeah, about three months ago, um, how he was sort of remembered for his off-field an- antics and Tiger's heading down that pathway, it seems, as well. It's really sad. It's really sad. I, I loved watching Tiger over the years. I-, I found golf quite boring. I'm happily will admit that, like many do. But it was the one thing that when Tiger was playing, it didn't matter whether you're a golf fan or not, you watched. And not only did non-golfers watch, golfers watch, but that reflected in the ratings. It reflected in really the, the profile of the game. You could name Tiger Woods, but could you name anyone else, the top 10 players, you'd go, um, you'd be struggling. You'd be clutching at straws to try and do it. So he changed the game in that respect. So it's just, I just find it really sad that it's happened. But, uh, you know, just your thoughts. Yeah, no, I'm definitely in the same boat. I, I remember growing up and, and seeing the PGA Tour uh, PlayStation games come out and it was always Tiger Woods on the cover. Yep. He, he was the one that's always been spoken about. He was the one that I always remembered growing up. So he, he really is probably the greatest of all time on, on the course. He's not got the, the amount of majors that uh, Jack Nicholas does, but... Um, He's very well renowned, and and for his off field activity, yeah, it's a real dampener that obviously when his uh, his affairs and his divorce in two thousand and ten to Swedish woman Ellen Nordegren um, came out, it, it really dampened his his on field performances, and he wasn't able to capture that form that he displayed in the early two thousands. Yes, it seemed to be that his. Uh he was going for birdies of a different kind, let's just say that. Yeah, uh, yeah. We can just sort of gloss on that. But he's he's got some great impressive records, you know, tied first all time for PGA Tour wins. But you're right there with Jack Nicholas. He was seen as the one that was going to go past Jack Nicholas and get all those gold, those golf championships and all the jackets and, and sort of set the standard and be, we use the term many a time here, about the GOAT. He was going to be the GOAT. I don't know if you could have him in that. You've got to have him in the conversation, obviously. But I don't know if you could say that he is the GOAT. Okay, in, in, that, that's an interesting point. I, I think he is the GOAT, Clayton, and yeah. I, I'd say that because he's won the equal amount of PGA Tour wins with 82. So he's right at the top of that list, and he's been dominant for yeah. so many years. Even though that drop-off has come since since his antics in 2010, he still managed to come back and win in 2019, which is a bit of a redemption story, which many people don't really take into account. So... Yeah, to have that comeback, and he was also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom that year yeah. as well for 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 that comeback, basically. So I think he is the GOAT. He He's definitely the most sp- spoken about um, golfer of all time, for sure, with the amount of endorsements, and he was the face of Nike for yeah. over a decade, really. The classic red shirt and, and yeah. uh, black pants are remarkable, and, and that's what he stands out for, so... I definitely think he is the goat um, of golf, and for more so for his endorsements and his his brand, uh, he's definitely up there as one of, one of the most famous athletes of all time. Really, he is for a sport that uh, you wouldn't think that it would generate that much level of of money for someone. He certainly changed it. He certainly he got more people, I guess, playing golf. And he was a child prodigy. He was just so good. The dedication, sometimes overzealous dedication of his father, that. Uh, well, I guess maybe that, that had a, a negative influence on Tiger and other sort of social-related aspects. And, and just to add to that as well, he, he is the most prominent black golfer as well in a, yeah. in a sport that's largely yeah. dominated by Good point. Good the white point. community. Yeah. So it, it's a very impressive um, thing that he's been able to do to be so so successful over such a long period of time where a sport where 
black people are generally counted out, I suppose. To, for him to come to the forefront and be so dominant, uh, it's really impressive. And the thing I liked about him the most was that he brought cool clothing into golf instead of the um, the awful loud clothing that we used to see the, the likes of John Daly wear and some of the others. But when you saw Tiger in those black slacks and that red shirt, and that he just looked cool, and you thought, yeah, yeah. I, I get this, I get this, and and he brought a lot to it, and and he brought more to it. So now he's he's had this this recent car accident. What's been the result from that, Carl? Can you update us? A little yeah, bit? he's fractured his tibia and his fibula, so they're both um, bones in the leg, obviously. And same leg. Uh, yes, there was yep. the same leg in his right leg, uh, I do believe. So he's obviously had surgery, and there's a sp- there's a long road to recovery for him to be able to walk and yep. no doubt be able to play golf again. But it was really touching that even number eight, Rory McIlroy, who's had success in the past, wore wore the red shirt and the classic yeah. uh, black pants on his recent on his recent outing just to show respect to to Tiger. So I think he's still highly regarded within by his peers within the golf industry. Um, but obviously, a sad a sad thing for him to see, saying that he's forty five now and his road to recovery will be a long one. Will we see him back out there? Come on, Carl. Will we see Tiger Woods having another crack? Because he's tied for first with the PGA Tour wins. Will he try and come back so he can be first on his own? I think he will. I think it'll be highly doubt, doubtful that he'll come back and maybe win another PGA Tour, but he's a draw card. If he came to Australia, I'm sure that there'd be flocks of people come out and watch him yep. because he is such such an icon really and and he draws a crowd with him so it'll be very hard for him to win another PGA tournament but I I think he'll definitely be out on the course um, in some capacity hopefully in the near future. I I think if he was on the telly screen right now playing and he was going for you know to to, to be under par on a hole we'd be watching we'd 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 just stop and just watch and and then we'd carry on if it was anyone else would would change the channel yeah <laughs> but that's yeah that's one of the things that i guess with with tiger he has had that indelible mark i'm, I'm still not convinced about uh, the goat i think that's a, a conversation we need to have on another day because i still think what jack nicholas has achieved from his time i think it, it, it was it, a bit before my time clayton so yeah, I, yeah a little i can't bit before really refer mine as well him. but i do remember seeing him at the i guess the twilight of his career mm. achieving things that he wasn't expected to, and and I think that's I think that's it's really in Tiger's hands now to to really lock him into the conversation. I think he needs to come back, but I'm not sure and, and he win will. the eighty third PGA. Yeah, I'm tournament. not sure that he, he 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 can or will, and and what the surgery that's going to happen to him, whether that will allow because if it's his right leg, and he that's a very dominant leg for when he swings. Absolutely, especially for the drive, you follow through with the right leg, and he's also had five back surgeries, yeah. so he's had a lot of problems with other parts of his body previously, so they could be taking a toll and. It's very mentally draining to have a road of recovery at 45 years of age. Obviously, yep. I can't speak from experience because I'm not that age, but uh, I'd imagine as years go by, your your body slows down naturally, and and to be 45 and coming back from a serious car accident, uh, it'll be very tough mentally and physically for him. Yes, yeah, serious car accidents, they're no fun, not at all. Please drive safe on the road, folks, wherever you might be right at this very particular moment. And um, if he does come back... It's going to do wonders for his brand, but do you think his brand at the moment is impacted at all by the recent events? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's harsh to for the other media outlets, I must say, to brand, a, brand him as a, um alcohol or drug-related problem with his recent car accident. I think he just fell, behind, uh, fell asleep behind the wheel, which goes into its own um, yeah. host of problems, I suppose. But yeah, to sort of pile on the pressure on him because of his previous uh, antics with women and etc is harsh and I think that he, he does get a rough ride at the moment because of his history but on on the course he, he should be remembered as a great because similar to Maradona I have to come back to this point. Tiger Woods I'd like to see him come back personally that's my view I'd like to see him come back but I'm not sure with the injuries he's sustained and that road to recovery I'm not sure that he's going to but if he does it's it's it, people will, will go and see him. They will watch him and he will get the TV ratings and I dare say that'll be something that uh, his brand and everything else would like to see. And that, and I think his kids would like to see it as well. Definitely. I, I kind of think they don't want to see him remembered for this. They'd like to see him go out in a different way. So 
Yeah, no, for his kids, it, it'll be definitely good to see him go out as the great that he is and, and not be remembered for those uh, off-field antics. What's your handicap on the, the golf course, Carl? Uh, not too high because I'm not that great. Clayton, what about yourself? Uh, mine's just driving out there. Okay, cool. That's a pretty good one. Yep. <laughs> no, I do prefer the driving range, but yeah, my putting game is uh, pretty weak, so I'll have to uh, work on that if I'm going to be any good. What about mini golf? Uh, yeah, as I said, my putting game is weak, so yeah, not great, Clayton. The Flow Man was uh, putting a challenge out to us for a game of mini golf, so I think maybe we should all get together and take him on. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm very intrigued, yeah. Could be good. We'll have to look more into that. We will certainly be doing that. All right, thanks, Carl. Thanks for talking to us about Tiger Woods today. And, uh, yes, if you're driving, please drive nice and safe on the roads and uh, get to where you're going and get back home again. We'll talk more at another time. Carl, look forward to your company. Thank you very much for joining us Thank on the Sports Fix. Thank you very much, Clayton.